What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the lenses that I own, how much I paid from, where I got them from, uh, and what type of pictures you can take with them. Spoiler alert, one of the cheapest lenses I have is the sharpest lens that I have. Okay, so the first one that I own is the 50 millimeter 1.8D. Uh, this is the first lens that I bought after the kit lenses that came with my D3400. Um, I believe that this helped me grow as a photographer. Um, it's a really good lens, uh, very sharp. Here's a picture that I took recently in Disney uh, with my wife. It's a, it's a good lens. I definitely recommend this as like maybe your first lens if you're starting off. Uh, grab this one. It's uh, I bought this on Amazon for about $130. And no regrets. Great lens. Uh, the next lens, I believe, is the sharpest lens that I own. I was going through all my pictures and it seems like I use this, this one the most. And it's a little cheap lens I got on eBay for about $99. Uh, it's a Nikkor 28 to 105, uh, 3.5 to 4.5. Now 3.5 to 1 to 4.5. So at 28 millimeters, uh, at focal length at 28 millimeters, you'll be at 3.5. And as you increase to 105, you'll you'll end up at the 4.5. Uh, so the highest, the highest or the lowest aperture you can have at 105 is 4.5 and you'll get the 3.5 at 28. And as you go up, the, the aperture will increase. Uh, this is still by far, like I said, this is a very sharp lens. Here's a picture I took. Uh, this is me uh, being goofy. But at the same time, I, I, I really like this lens. Um, like I said, I use this the most uh, when when taking photos. Yep, 28 to 105, 3.5 to 4.5. Uh, my next purchase was my 60 mil, or I'm sorry, 60 millimeter, uh, 2.8D. Uh, this is a, a micro lens. Uh, this was actually kind of at the suggestion of the angry photographer. I'm, I'm sure you've heard of him. If not, look him up. Uh, it's kind of crazy, but I, I really like this lens. Um, very sharp, very, very nice lens. Um, I have absolutely no complaints about this lens. Uh, here's a picture that I took of it with it of my daughter. Um, uh, so, so I bought this because I had the 3400 and I wanted to get the closest thing I could to a, a 85. Um, so this this on a 3400 would be the equivalent of 90 millimeters. Um, Speaking of which, so if the thing about uh, most of my lenses are D lenses, uh, the thing with that is they're they're driven by the motor inside your your camera body. Uh, the G, the newer lenses, the like G and uh, above, those have internal motors. This does not, so this relies on your camera. So that the, the uh, D3400 does not have a, a focusing motor. So you can use this with the, the 3000 series, 5000 series, uh, but know that you'll have to manually focus it. it. It will not focus on its own. You will not have autofocus, uh, but that's not a bad thing. It'll, it'll help you save money definitely uh, by getting the D lenses, especially as you're starting out like me. Uh, you're just trying to, you know, just trying to take good pictures, which just definitely helps me uh, take pictures, uh, great pictures. Um, so next, uh, I really wanted a 70 to 200, um, but at this point I, I really couldn't afford it. Uh, haven't, didn't have uh, money saved up and not to mention I'm just starting out. Am I going to really, really stick with this? But anyway, so what I did, I looked on eBay and I found this one for about $79. This is 70 to 210, around roughly the same uh, focal length. However, the uh, 
the aperture is four to 5.6. Uh, so same deal at 70 you'll have four uh, aperture of four and at 210 you'll have an aperture of 5.6 which is really not that bad uh, matter of fact this takes really really uh clear pictures here's a picture of my wife uh, a portrait uh, the, the unique thing about this lens is that uh, it's actually a push pull so you push pull to change your focal length or to zoom uh, which I think is very cool pretty cool uh, I like this lens a lot very sharp another uh, macro lens so 70 to 210 uh, so me being uh, I guess spoiled <laughs> and not 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 satisfied with the uh, with that point with that uh with that lens even though it's, like I said it's a great lens it's very good for starting off but I know what I wanted so I went ahead and bought the Tamron 70 to 200 2.8. Uh, really enjoy this lens. Uh, it has uh, vibration control. Uh, it's very good for when you're at a you know at 200 focal length. Uh, as any minute movement, you'll you'll see. Uh, I actually used this for this picture I took here of the beach. Uh, kind of makes you want to go to the beach. That's why I like the picture. Anyway, uh, this one is a 2.8. I got this on eBay for $510. So this is definitely my most expensive lens. Um, but it's uh, you can you can tell you can tell. Uh, I I just really like the the pictures that this thing thing takes. It's the quality is phenomenal. Um, there's that. I have manual focus lens. This is a 28. 3.5 uh, Nikkor. Uh, this is an AI lens. Uh, I like this lens because it's sharp and it, and it has a kind of a unique quality to it. Uh, but you can check out this picture. Uh, I just I just like the way it looks. Um, I don't use it as often, uh, mainly because it's manual focus. But it, it's still a great lens. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. I might actually sell this. I only got it for $40, so I probably only sell it for about 30 bucks. But I mean, I, I like this lens. Um, you can see that the, the focus throw is, is huge, but that, that helps so much with manual focus. Because um, you, you'll nail the focus. It's, it's just really easy. Uh, most of the Nikon uh, bodies, I think most of, most of them all has, have a, a focus confirmation. So it's easy to to nail focus, especially with, with a throw like this. Um, I, I really like this, really like this lens. Uh, 28, 3.5. Uh, next, I was actually, was uh, inspired by Photo Me Ike. Uh, if you don't follow him, he's a great follow. Uh, look him up. Uh, this is a 105, 2.8. I saw I saw the, the clarity that he was getting out of out of his camera, which incidentally was the same camera that I had, the, the one I just purchased, my most recent camera purchase was a, a D800. Um, this this was a, this is a very sharp lens, very, very nice lens. Um, uh, clarity is, is through the roof. So yeah, I, I really like this lens. Very, uh, very good lens. Here's a, here's a picture that that came off of it. Um, I got this also on eBay for about two hundred and nine dollars. So not a bad price. Uh, a little bit more of an expensive lens. Uh, and my last one is my most recent purchase. Uh, it's a one point eight D, eighty five millimeter. Uh, it's, it's a great uh, portrait lens. Uh, lets a lot of light in, 1.8. Uh, I took the uh, the thumbnail for this video, and here's a cleaner version without the without all the words on it. But uh, I have yet to shoot a human with it, and that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm most looking forward to. I can't wait to do that. Um, I think I, I think I'm gonna get some really good shots out of this lens. I really can't wait to use it. 
but this will probably be my last purchase of uh, the D lenses or even G lenses depending because uh, what, what I think I'm, I'm going to do is uh, go to the mirrorless when I save up the money for it uh, I want I'll, I think I'm ready for that leap uh, I've, I've had some clients and I, I think I'm moving moving forward in this I still have way a whole lot to learn and uh, I I hope you're learning something from me um, and my the whole premise like I said in my intro video is for you guys to learn as I learn and to come along with my my journey as a to become a better photographer uh, hopefully you'll you'll come along in and in, in like a year of time who knows maybe, let's see where we are uh, so that's my lens collection so there you have it those are the lenses that i own how much i paid for them and as you can see you can get great results without having to break the bank uh, if you made it this far please consider subscribing to this channel uh dropping a like and sharing with anyone that you think could benefit from this i really appreciate you all uh stay encouraged and i will see you in the next video later